In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add a basic custom move to SM64, the custom move being the ground pound dive from Super Mario Odyssey. This will be a very basic coding tutorial, but also will not cover the concepts as well as an actual coding tutorial. If you don't already have SM64 Decomp installed, watch this tutorial first. Before we start writing code, let's think about how to achieve what we want to do first. In SMO, when you ground pound and press X or Y, you jump out of your ground pound into a dive. You can also hold the analog stick in any direction you want to redirect Mario. So, with that in mind, here's our plan. Check if the player presses the B button, and if the button is pressed, change to the dive state, set the velocity variables, and finally, set Mario's direction to the direction of the analog stick. In Visual Studio Code, Open up your decomp project, then navigate to SRC, then game. After that, scroll down until you find MarioActionsAirborne.c. Click on that file. After that, scroll down until you find the actGroundPound function, which looks like this. Alternatively, you can use Ctrl plus F to search for it quickly. This is the code that handles ground pounding, and we are going to be modifying it. The first thing we want to do is ask the simple question of, is the player pressing Z? This is what if statements are for. So we will write an if statement checking if Mario is pressing the B button. Here the reason we are using and instead of equals equals is because the input state is actually a flag. This tutorial will not be going over flags, so just assume this code will trigger when the player presses the B button. Now. You want Mario to dive when you press B, right? So, all you need to do is call the setMarioAction function. Inside the function, put actDive and 0 as the parameters. Now, this technically works, but it acts as a belly slam instead of a dive. If you want a belly slam move, then there you go, you got it in your game. But we're making a dive in this tutorial, so we're not quite done yet. To apply speed to Mario, we need to set the velocity variables. This would be m forward vel and m vel. The forward velocity variable determines how fast Mario is going, and the vel variable is actually three variables for the x, y, and z axis. You can tweak these numbers how you see fit, but for the sake of this tutorial, the numbers are set to this. So that other variables in the function don't mess with the variables we already set, we'll end the function early using a return statement. Some functions return numbers, but since this function doesn't return anything, we simply put false as the return statement. We have a functional ground pound dive, but to make it more useful, let's add instant turning functionality. When the player holds the analog stick and presses B, Mario should turn in the direction the player points and then dive. So, we'll set Mario's face angle to the intended yaw variable. If we use the raw analog stick input, it won't consider the camera, and Mario would seemingly jump in a random direction. Intended yaw is a convenient variable that considers the angle of the camera relative to the stick direction. This is the final code. If you got everything right, this is what the final result should look like. If there was a part of this video you could not hear or understand, the full script for the tutorial will be in the description. The description also has a paste bin of the finished code. Subscribe to this channel to get notified of new decomp tutorials.